Hi friends, uh, thanks for jumping online with me uh, for this midweek moment. Uh, I'm calling it a midweek moment because it's a moment in the middle of the week when you and I can spend some time together and we can find some encouragement in Scripture. Uh, you know I love reading the Psalms, I comment about that on a regular basis, but recently I was reading the 46th Psalm, and it's a great Psalm, but the first verse really stood out to me. And it uh, goes like this, Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Think about that. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. All of us face times in our life uh, when the norm becomes abnormal, uh, when that which is stable in our life all of a sudden gets turned upside down. I think back to uh, September of 2017 when uh, a little storm they called Irma decided to make a visit to Southwest Florida. All of my South Floridian friends remember that event and how one day life was normal and the next day everything in our life was turned upside down. In fact, thousands of people uh, experienced damage and distress and anguish all because of that storm. And I started thinking about that and I thought, you know what, there's a lot of different storms in life. Storms aren't all weather related. I mean, there are spiritual storms that we go through, there are emotional storms that we go through, uh, physical storms that we go through, uh, health-related storms like what we're going through now with COVID-19, uh, and then there's financial storms that we go through, and many of us are experiencing that type of storm now. And, uh, you know, I wish there was some kind of, uh, some kind of relief from that. But it's all a part of life, and, and sometimes we just go through these things. It's just what life really is. But when I think back to Irma, I think about how devastating that storm was. And, uh, you know, I, I think when you read Psalm 46.1, to me, and it really jumped off the page to me this past week, uh, what God promises to do for us in the storms, in the times of trouble, as he said, that occurs in our life. And the first thing is that God declares that he is our refuge, our refuge. Now, let's go back to Irma again. Uh, when they gave us warnings of the storm coming, they told everyone, you need to find a place of safety. You need to find a place of refuge. For some of us, that was bunkering down in our homes. Uh, some of us came down here to the church, and, uh, and we spent the night and weathered the storm here at the church. Others went to uh, uh, facilities that the, uh, that the local uh, authorities declared to be a place of refuge or a place of safety. And uh, we weathered out that storm. You know, I wish there could be uh, physical buildings, physical places that would protect us from the storms of life. Now. I grew up in Illinois, and in Illinois, there's a, a lot of tornadoes through the Midwest, whether it's Kansas, uh, Missouri, Illinois, Ohio. And I know that there were shelters that many of us had. Most of the homes up there have basements, and so if there was a bad storm or a tornado, we'd go down into the basement. And uh, other people even had a, a bunker within their basement to protect them. Uh, some folks would have a storm shelter outside where you'd open up a door and literally go under the ground into a safe place and weather out the storm. But when it comes to the storms of life, uh, there's not a man-made refuge that we can go to. And yet, God promises, hear me now, God promises that He will be our refuge, our place of safety. Isaiah says it this way, and I want to read it for you in Isaiah 43, verse number 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flame burn you, for I am the Lord your God. I find great encouragement in that, and I hope you find encouragement in that, that what you're going through right now, God is present and he is your refuge. But then the psalmist also mentions that God is our strength. Think about that. Back when Irma occurred, the day after that, a few days after that, weeks after that, all of us in South Florida were absolutely exhausted. I mean, think about it. We were exhausted because uh, we had no electricity, we had no air conditioning, and it's summer in Florida with high humidity. Uh, many of us had no water. 
there was flooding in our neighborhoods. Many of us couldn't get out. It was an exhausting time. We were physically and emotionally and in some ways spiritually weary and exhausted. And maybe that's how you feel right now. Maybe you feel exhausted. Maybe you feel weary. Maybe you feel that the more you watch the news and the more you see what's going on, the more you listen to the authorities, that it's just wearing you down. I've got good news. God said he can give you strength. He can buoy your spirit. He can lift your soul. The Lord can do that. Not only is he your refuge, but he is your strength. And again, uh, the Bible reminds us that he is with us. He gives us strength when we lack strength. He gives us creativity when we lack creativity. He lifts up our weary soul. He puts a song in our heart, even when there's nothing to really sing about. God promises that to us. And then one other thing that stood out in this particular verse is he's a present help. I like that. He is a present help in time of trouble. You know, as I reflect back on, uh, on Irma, uh, there were a lot of good things that happened after that storm. And uh, people really rallied together. People really were willing to help each other. You know, for a brief period of time, it wasn't about Democrat or Republican. It wasn't about Catholic or Protestant. It wasn't about the color of our skin. It wasn't about where we went to church. It wasn't about any of that. It was just about people helping people. People coming alongside and being an encouragement and, and providing water or whatever they could to a neighbor or to a friend. And that's what I'm seeing happen today. Even though we're on somewhat of a lockdown, we're able to call people, we're able to encourage people. Uh, maybe you see people walking in the neighborhood as you're out for a walk. Just encourage them. Say hello to them. Maybe if you talk to them, keep your distance. But is there anything that I could pray with you about? We need to help one another. But most of all, we need to remember that God is our help. That's what he said. He is a present help in time of trouble. I want you to think about this. If your car broke down on the side of the road and you called me on the telephone and I picked up the phone and you said, Pastor John, I, I need some help. What's wrong? Well, my car's broke down and I wondered if you could come out and pick me up and take me to my house. And I said, I would love to help you, but I won't be there for two or three days. If you can just wait for two or three days, I'll be there to help you. Now, you know, and I know that that wouldn't be much help. When you're broke down at the side of the road, you need somebody to come and help you right now. God is a right now God. He is available to help you. He is available to come alongside of you. So each and every day, take some time to just read the scripture, find encouragement in the scripture. And remember Psalm 46, one. He is your refuge, he is your strength, and he is your help in your time of trouble. I, will, I would like to pray with you if I can. Father, I just pray for my friends right now. Lord, we're all going through a time of shaking, uh, a time of, of our lives being disrupted, uh, and, and yet we know, God, that you are available to us. And I pray your blessing, I pray your protection, I pray your refuge, I pray that we personally and as families would find you as our strength and that you would be there to help us walk through this storm. So thank you for each and every person in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And again, if you have a need, if there's something we can pray with you about, don't hesitate to call the church office or you can email us at info at newlifelehigh.com. See you next time.